all our experiments to search for the secrets of how creation took place have revealed the presence of tiny constituents of particles in the quark gluon plasma or the primordial soup. There's just one piece missing in this jigsaw puzzle, the existence of which we are able to predict with a great deal of accuracy and confidence. That is the Higgs boson or the God particle. Analysis shows it must be the appearance and presence of this God particle which must have triggered the free-floating massless particles in the cosmic soup to start acquiring mass and start to interact with one another to finally form the matter in the entire universe. Under the influence of the Higgs field, three quarks group together to make up a stable proton and many other particles which form the constituents of matter. These are formed within nanoseconds after the Big Bang. All our efforts to simulate conditions of the Big Bang at the Large Hadron Collider, though on a very minuscule scale, is with the hope that we can recreate such God particles just as we believe they should have appeared soon after the Big Bang. A few minutes later, simple atoms followed by simple molecules were formed like those of hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon, oxygen in ratios that are same even today. Elements and compounds followed and clumps of matter started appearing. The expansion continued and clumps grew into galaxies. Stars and planets followed with the eventual appearance of the world as we know it today. Isn't it amazing what carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and hydrogen can do when put together for 14 billion years?